All this month, we're introducing you to candidates on the ballot, candidates on the ballot rather, for the July 31st primary election. Joining me now is former state representative David Lucas, who's running in the state Senate District 26 race. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Pledge is mine. All right, Mr. Lucas. Well, we talked a couple of months ago, and you still said you were enjoying retirement, not sure if you were going to run again. So what was it that changed your mind? Well, the, the thing of, of running uh, in the, uh, for the Georgia General Assembly, and Democrats will decide this race. It won't be a nonpartisan race, and Republicans mm -hmm. won't have the opportunity to vote against me 9-1. to well, so that was the official deciding factor, knowing that you're going to have everybody out there, just the Democrats in your favor? Well, it, it will be a Democratic primary. Uh, last time it was a nonpartisan election. Uh, and the, the Republicans in, in making a campaign to make sure that David Lucas was not elected to the Senate. So that's what you think is going to be different about this race. Obviously, um, you know, you, you have a lot of experience in the Georgia General Assembly. If you had to look back at this Bibb County delegation, how do you think they did over the last last couple of months? Well, I think they did a very poor job. When you bring uh, local bills back home, such as 962, which was the county commission seat that uh, you changed from a majority black district to a majority white, nine before the Justice Department. 963, the Board of Education bill, uh, that now we're going to have a special election because it was designed to try to change the lines and they did it backdoor, didn't tell anybody, uh, notified the attorneys two days prior to the governor signing the bill. Then you got 1171, which is the big consolidation bill. Uh, they didn't spend very much time in it and none of them can explain the bill to you. The folks who are talking about the bill are not in the legislature. Uh, and then of course 1196, which was the water board bill, and you have to understand, these are white Democrats. They're not black Democrats, but they are Democrats. And when you go to Atlanta and say that you are a Democrat and you change a Democratic district to make it a Republican district, some tell me you want to be a Republican more than, more than a Democrat. So you're charging that these Bibb County delegation Democrats are actually really Republicans? Well, I'm Democrats? just talking, I'm talking about the person I'm, I'm running against. Uh, they could not have done it if she had not signed it. That is the difference. If she had not signed it, they could not change the Board of Education lines. They could not have changed the county commission lines. And uh, we only have a few seconds left. To give me one of your biggest platforms, what you want the voters to know about you going into this race. Well, David Lucas is the same David Lucas that brought over $300 million to Mercer Med School. Uh, the same David Lucas that brought over $83 million on Harlot Bridge Road, that expansion, and the $29 million on Sardis Church Road. The same David Lucas that brought the $10 million to DFACS. David Lucas has done what people in Macon, Georgia wanted him to do as far as represent the area. Now it's a big area. You, you're talking about seven counties, uh, part of Jones, part of Houston, all of Twiggs, all of uh, Wilkerson, all of Washington, and all of Hancock. And one of the things that when you, you look at that district, is one thing that's needed. Number one, uh, health uh, care in, in Sparta in Hancock County. You can't bring industry into a community if you don't have a way to deal with the employees and the health hazards that we face in, in, in today's society. Well, you've given the voters a lot of good things to think about before they hit the polls, so thank you so much for joining us. And tomorrow on the News at 6, one of Lucas's opponents, State Senator Miriam Paris, will join us to talk about her campaign. And don't forget, you can get the most clear, accurate, and to-the-point political coverage ahead of the July 31st primary right here on 41NBC.